Hi everyone, I just wanted to talk about the difference between rate of change versus percent change. So what we're going to consider here is the rate of change and percent change for the number of albino alligators over the past several years. So what I found out was that in 1990 there were around 18 albino alligators and in 2010 that number was down to only about 12. So we're first going to consider rate of change, which we know is the same thing as slope. So recall that we find the slope by taking the difference in our y values divided by the difference in our x values. So in our case here, this is going to give us 12 minus 18 divided by 2010 minus 1990. So we can see that we get a final slope of a negative 0.3. We do want to interpret this because that is a huge part of what we do in this class. So in this case, since our rate of change is negative, we know that our values are decreasing. So a good interpretation might say that the number of albino alligators is decreasing by 0.3, in other words, less than one gator each year. So we're also going to consider percent change in this situation. The way we find percent change is by finding the difference between our new and our old value and comparing it to, in other words, dividing by our old value. This is going to give us a decimal, and once we multiply times 100, we will have the percent form. So recall that in 1990 we had 18 albino alligators. This is going to be our old, our original value. In 2010 we had 12 albino alligators, so this is going to be our new value. So once we plug it into the formula, it should look like this. We will get negative 6 divided by 18, which gives us a negative 0.3 repeating. Once we multiply by 100, what we can see is we have a negative 33.3%. We cannot have a negative percentage. What this actually means is that we had a decrease over that time. So a good interpretation would say that the number of albino alligators decreased by about 33.3% from 1990 to 2010. I hope this has helped you, and I will leave you with two fun facts about albino alligators. First of all, they don't survive in the wild very well uh, because they're white and they don't camouflage enough to get close enough to food to eat it. And also, they have blue eyes and it's supposedly good luck to look them in the eye.